Former Ambassador McNaughton, thanks so much for joining us. You know the United States well from your time here as ambassador during the first Trump administration. Your thoughts on his victory in this campaign? Well, you know, I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm a bit surprised at, at how, um, how overwhelming it was, but I wasn't surprised that he won in the sense that whenever you have two-thirds of the population saying the country's going on the wrong track, it's really hard for an incumbent to win. Well, what advice, though, can you offer uh, people who haven't dealt with the Trump administration on how best to approach it? Is it is it is there a particular approach you need to take with him? Well, he, you know, I, I think I've said this before. He's very transactional. He's not, you know, he's not ideological, and therefore, you know, you you have to kind of think about it in terms of what can we put on the table that is going to be of interest to him, that is going to make help him achieve some of his objectives. Um, and, and I think, you know, a lot of those have to do with, you know, not necessarily, you know, trade. Some, a lot of them are trade, but they are things like, uh, you know, how are we going to have common cause against some of the things that China has been doing? What are we going to do about, um, you know, protecting uh, the Arctic and, you know, uh, cybersecurity and a whole series of things that you know, weren't necessarily topics of bilateral discussions other than off in a corner somewhere. I think we've got to bring those forward and say, we're here, we're, we're your closest neighbor and your partner and your friend, and we're here to help you achieve some of the things that you've been talking about. Can you kind of help us decode Donald Trump? Because a lot of his rhetoric is so bombastic. Uh, the stuff he says at times is outrageous. Uh, he says that he wants to apply a 10% tariff on everything. Should we take those things at face value, or how, how do you how do you figure out what's going to turn into a real policy? Well, it's um, it's difficult. I mean, it's look, it's not without its challenges, uh, and he's very mercurial. And you're right, there's a lot of uh, rhetoric in in anything that he uh, does and says. You know, at the beginning of uh, his his last administration, he said he was going to tear up NAFTA. Um, and he didn't tear up NAFTA. We ended up uh, with a deal that he said was the best trade deal that the United States had ever signed. So um, we just got to be, we've got to be uh, strategic. We've got to be clever. We've got to uh, think through some of the items that we know he's going to want to put on the table and, uh, you know, think through how we can respond in a positive manner in a way which doesn't jeopardize Canadian interests, you know, but is good for Canada and for the United States. David McNaughton, former Canadian ambassador to the United States, thanks so much. No problem at all. Thanks, Donna.